he'll do the change that comes inside us as we just are willing to just come before him.
I've been reading in Ezekiel, and there's so much in that book all through the quarantine. It's not a book that I readily pick up. And, um, in about chapter 38, um, God's telling Israel, uh, you know, that he exiled them and sent them off because of their sin, and, and they would not stop worshiping idols. And he said, he, he finally says he's going to put a new heart inside them and cause them to want to obey him, which is, I mean, that's my story, that he, he made those changes inside me for the glory of his own name. He's not doing it because they were good enough or good. He did it because he, they actually, because they had caused the nations to mock God by their behaviors. And God is faithful and his his word, his name will be praised. Thank you, Lord. Yeah.
Heavenly Father, there is, you are just so wonderful. There is never a time that we need you more than we do right now, as we're in this terrible stage that this country's in, and, and we just need to just lay everything down at the foot of the cross for you, Father, that, that you can just touch our hearts. And I just pray that each one of us that are in here today and those that are not, that uh, our hearts are just open up just to receive all that you have for us today, Lord. And it's with a grateful and thankful heart that we just give this time over to you. And, and we just ask for your anointing upon Pastor Jim as he brings forth the word for us today. And Lord, we just we love you and we praise you and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.